Hello viewers, welcome to my channel day to day math after a long time. Since all of us are busy with our board exam preparation, I could not upload any new videos for you. Today, I would like to show you one centum paper of class 10. So here goes the paper. So this is the one marks how he's attended the 18 MCQ. He's, do he's done all the relevant rough work here and he's parallelly done all the one markers. The 19th and the 20th question is the assertion reasoning question that is over here. Then he started with section B, all the five uh, two markers and he scored all two on two on uh, all the five. So here goes the paper. See, look at the presentation of the paper. Section C starting with the three markers and here goes the three markers. So neat work without any scratching and scribbling. So the examiner will be pleased when you present your paper like this. It will be easy for him to correct or him or her to correct. See, this is the three marker. See, in probability, you have to write the full answer, then reduce it. You have to write the sample space, the total number of outcomes, the sample space, the formula, because there is not much to write in this. So you write all this and make the examiner clear that you know all the concepts of probability. This is the theorem, the BPT, followed by the question. Then this is a surface area volume question. That's a, that's a seem to be a sure five marker. This is your statistics. And um, this is the speed question. And this is the case study. Look at the way he's uh, done the case study. Very neat way all the relevant steps are here. And uh, he's done it very well, I could say. See, you can also take separate rough papers and you can also do all the uh, rough work there and then you can attach it. That's not wrong. You can do it. He's done it parallelly. See, everywhere what he's done is he's drawn a def uh, separate rough column where he is going to do all the rough work. This is actually a good way of writing. So that when we correct the paper, the examiner who's uh, checking your paper will be able to see all the relevant rough work beside itself. So even though you do some carryover mistakes, we'll be able to find out that the child has actually done the uh, question correctly and by mistake he's written it. We'll understand that. So there's a nice way he's written the paper also very well. Neat presentation. All relevant rough work done. So this is this is how you present the paper and it will be good if you do it this way. Okay, so all the best for your exams. Do well. Thank you.